Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. In this video I'm going to be looking at how I grind, how I acquire credits as quickly as possible. Now there are lots of different ways of playing the game. You can just run straight into sport and play online and if you need tyres where well, you can earn money from racing and winning races and get credits that way for tyres and things. Uh, you don't really need to grind too much there. If you're going into the lobby though, you might need to be you know, buying specific cars which can be expensive. And also a big part of this game is acquiring cars. So for instance, if like me, you want to acquire the cars, then that is going to cost quite some considerable money. I mean, I've got quite a fair few cars that I've saved and I've got quite a fair few cars that I still need to acquire. Now, one of the ways that I acquire cars cheaply is in used cars because those tend to be the most cost effective way although you're buying cars with mileage you can't choose colors and things alternatively you can buy cars in brand central but if you go into legend cars you start to see that some of these cars can become quite expensive for instance the mclaren here is 8 million credits you've got the mercedes benz 20 million you've got the mclaren there just over 10 you know some really really expensive cars to collect so if you're into collecting cars you're going to want credit you're going to need to grind and the way that i tend to grind is on the world circuits but before we dive into there i'll cover a couple of other little bits and pieces if you come up to the gt button and we go into options for grinding i tend to have the race difficulty set to easy if I'm racing, I want a bit of a challenge, then I'll probably do hard. But for this, we just want easy. We want to be able to get through the traffic with the least amount of problems so that we can get a clean race. So if we then come down to World Circuits, there are two ways of making some reasonable money in here. So if I just come across to Europe, because the track that we're going to use is the 24 hour Le Mans track in France. And the biggest paying event that I am aware of is the World Touring Car 700. That's what we're going to come to in just a moment. But if you haven't already done it and you need some quick cash, Circuit Experience is a great way of amassing a lot of credits very quickly. For all of the tracks, I've gone all bronze. Now, getting bronze is pretty easy. Most average people can get bronze. And I think on this course, you get something like about 200 credits for doing the, the full course. If you're able to get gold, as I've done here, you can get as much as a million credits for just a few minutes work. I mean, this is about a four minute lap. You've got to go through five different sectors, which can I don't know, probably take about 10 or 15 minutes to do. And then you've got your full lap. So I'd say probably within half an hour, you can have over 1.2 million credits for doing that circuit experience. Now, if you've done all of those, or you've got all bronze as I have, and getting gold is a little bit more of a challenge, and you just want to make some quick money, then my go-to is the World Touring Car 700. So let's just go into there now. One of the things that we're going to need to do is to change our car because we are on uh, the PP it used to be 700 or less, and the car that I tend to use is the BMW VGT because it can get us through the traffic and also I can play around with the power settings. It is going to be a race with weather. So you're going to need to have the three racing tires available to you, although we won't be using the soft because that will push us over the PP rating. But you do need to make sure that you've got intermediate and wet tires. If you don't have those, buy them because you are almost definitely going to need them. The other thing that I do is I make sure that I've got the racing medium on and the other thing that I like to do is to make sure that I have got the uh, auto set for the gears. Now in here at the moment, I'm racing with manual gears because I'm trying to get used to those. So you're going to see during this race that my gear selections are all over the place. But to make life a bit easier, and this is all about making it easy, then go with the um, automatic gearbox. OK, so once we are set up, we can enter. You'll see here that I can't switch to the soft tyre, even though I've got them, because that would then put us over the PP rating, uh, but we have got the other four tyres available to us. 
Now this is a 30 minute race. So it doesn't matter how many laps, it's gonna be a full 30 minutes. And if we just click next, in the settings, if you want, you can go to the assist settings and then set that to automatic. I'm gonna do that just now. Uh, again, you've got the opportunity to buy those tires in here if you haven't already got them. And then we'll go start. A couple of things that I do in here. First of all, I set the power level to three. And I also make sure that I've got the weather radar on and I've got the weather radar completely zoomed out because we are gonna to need to keep a note of the weather. The power settings, we can pretty much keep where they are. Um, now, radar would be nice to have because you do not wanna run into these cars. This is all about having a clean race. So again, having the automatic gears means that we don't have to worry about gearing. We just need to worry about braking. And the key thing here is to make sure that our overtakes are clean and that we're not running into the back of people. With the AI cars on easy, I do find that they can be a little bit unpredictable. They can come across the track and cut you off. They can also go off the track and then come on at a weird angle. So you do need to be very, very careful. Now, at this point, I'm just slipstreaming. We've got four cars here. I'm gonna to go to the left purely because I do not want to get involved with any shenanigans. And I'm picking up a little bit of a toe on the Mustang. And if you are in traffic, you've really got to watch out for your braking point because you do not want to do that. You do not want to stuff it into the barrier. Uh, that could well have just destroyed my clean lap race. At this point, I would normally hit the retry button and start the game. That's a classic example, and I did that deliberately actually, of making sure that you are aware of when the corners are coming up and where your braking points are and not being caught up with other cars at those points. There is no point, you're going to see through this video that we are going to work our way through this traffic very, very easily. So we've got three cars here. I'm gonna brake nice and early. I'm just gonna sit in behind this BMW. In fact, it's gone a little bit wide there so I can do him on the exit. A nice clean overtake. Those are the overtakes that you wanna do not like the previous one where I was trying to do them into the corner. Uh, it's just not worth it. You've got lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of time. Just stay out of trouble within this race. Now I'm up to eighth already. Even if I was only up to maybe 12th or 11th, I really wouldn't mind because this is a long race. It's half an hour. You've got bags of time to get through the traffic. And we're also gonna hit weather shortly which throws a completely different dynamic. I'm keeping an eye on the weather radar at the moment, which is completely clear. Uh, the weather normally comes in around about the end of lap two, beginning of lap three. Uh, and we'll make some judgment calls at that time. So for the moment, I'm just working on getting through this traffic and just keeping an eye on the radar. Now don't worry if you're racing and you're alongside a car and it comes by you I think a lot of these cars are racing on full power. With the power rating set to three, we're probably and should only be doing one pit stop for tires and fuel. And I'm gonna back off and just let this car go through. I really don't wanna run into the back and really staying out of the way. Um, yeah, as I say, we're gonna do one, one pit stop for tires and fuel. Uh, some of these cars that are running on full power are gonna end up pitting twice. So that puts them even further behind you. And using this strategy, I very often end up this race a minute ahead of the second place person. So absolutely loads and loads and loads of time. Now, you can really drive this hard if you want, as if you're racing, but you don't really need to. Uh, I'm gonna make a few mistakes because I am talking. In fact, I've just got a penalty for a track limit. The Penalty for track limit, I think as long as you don't get too many, doesn't affect your clean race status. So don't worry too much if you get uh, one or two track limit penalties. Uh, very often there's a couple of places where I do go a little bit wide. Um, so I'm just going to carry on and we'll just see at the end whether that bump that I had and also that track limits makes any, any difference. Uh, so Drew here just slowing it down, don't want to run into the back of the Corvette. It's having a battle with the, uh, with the Aston Martin ahead. And we're just going to 
work on just getting through this traffic at the end of that lap to be in sixth that's pretty good progress actually that's pretty good so we'll just keep um, plugging away and as I said the key thing here is not to race these cars it's just to keep it smooth keep it easy and try and stay out of the way again I'm a racer and I get sucked in and I'm just caught the back of that Corvette absolutely need this I really should have just held back a bit and normally when I'm gliding I probably would while I'm talking and running this video uh, I'm probably pushing it a little bit harder than, than, than I really needed to to so let's just hang back from the Aston Martin for the moment pick up slipstream through this corner and then we should be able to do him I'm going to go on the outside because I don't want him to run me into the barrier so then just thinking which side you're going to be overtaking also make sure that you've actually cleared the car that's why I use this view with the mirror because you'll notice he's actually coming back at me remember I'm on a lower power rating he's probably on a higher power rating and as soon as I came up the slipstream he came by don't worry don't start panicking thinking oh I've really got to get up to first place to get those credits because you will do it I promise you, you will do it. See, he's gone a little bit wide there. So we'll just slingshot around the outside. And I think that I've probably got him done this time. Again, just staying out of the way, keeping it easy, not being really leery, and we're all good. Now, he may well come back at me under slipstream. So I'm just keeping an eye on my mirror at the moment, but I'm more interested in my breaking point for this particular corner. I'm going to use the shadows here just uh, break on the last shadow turn that in you've got the Aston Martin catching up this really quickly but not worrying too much about that and just watching the exit and the next car is this orange one down the road so again just keeping it all nice and easy now this is a long race it's half an hour so for the sake of this video I will probably edit it and cut out chunks uh, so don't be surprised if it is jumping forwards and also if my position has changed a little bit during the race. Uh, the important bits I will be calling out during this video. There's nothing worse than sitting watching somebody grinding for half an hour on the video. So again, I can go much much quicker through this corner normally and pretty much be, be flat out through this one and also the next one getting it straightened up for the left hander but the fact that I've got uh, Kawakami in front of me I don't really want to be taking any risks so I'm just going to give him some room just tuck him behind again I could have gone a lot a lot faster through there I've still got my penalty to serve anyway so again on this one just slow it down early follow him through just keep it nice and easy again I don't need to worry about changing down gears for the penalty because I'm on auto and you can see in the red radar that we started to get the weather coming in now you can see that the sky has darkened and although it doesn't seem to be raining at the moment we are coming up on the pits now the temptation would be to carry on a route and you may well find that quite a few of these cars are actually going to carry on a route now i've got to make a judgment call here do i put the intermediates on or do i put the full wet having the weather radar zoomed right out means that you can see a lot more of the weather and if you've just got the sort of turquoise and the blue color i tend to go for intermediates if you've got any of the, re, uh, the green color or even the yellow which we do get sometimes on this race then i'll go to the wet but for now, again, that car's going around. I'm going to come in and I'm going to put the intermediates on. And I'm actually going to stay on, even though the track is going to dry out. I'm going to stay with the intermediates right the way through this race. The other thing as well is make sure that you leave the car to fuel up. And I tend to just leave it to fuel to the maximum because that, that will be fine. A couple of my pet hates in here is the uh, top left hand corner you can see the tires that the uh, the other cars are on at the moment I'd really love to see 
the tyre that they're on and the tyre that they're changing to. Because when you're racing, it's very difficult to keep an eye on that and see what tyres people are on. One of my other pet hates is I've actually opted to go onto the Inters, but you'll notice that they're actually putting slicks on. The graphics are incorrect within the game because they should be Inters. If I now was to come in again, um, change the inters for slicks then you'd see them actually putting intermediate tyres on the game is a, is a little bit messed up there but you can see down in the bottom left hand corner that my tyres are IM for intermediates and they are awfully cold this is another one of my pet hates is that when you come out of the pits in particular I'd love to be able to see what my temperature is on the tyres and how quickly they warm up on the Formula One game, you see that, and it would be nice if the tyres were, you know, blue at the moment, and then you know, see when they're heated up. Uh, with Gran Turismo, you, you've really just got to feel when the tyres are coming into the zone and they're warmed up. It can take a few corners, and again, in the interest of keeping things clean and tidy, it would be nice to have that little bit of extra information. And it would be nice to actually be able to see up in the top left hand corner there those cars that have pitted and what tyres they're on at the moment I don't know if there's an option for that within the game I haven't found it yet but that is something that I'd really really like to see so at the moment the weather is still pretty grotty it looks like it's going to be grotty for a while so I'm just going to keep it easy braking early just turning in easily just keeping an eye on the two cars up ahead uh, we're back in 17th, but I'm really not bothered because that indicates to me that quite a few of the cars didn't pit. And looking at the track, I could probably have got away with slicks on this particular instance. Uh, like I said, you've got to make a judgment call on which tyres that you're going to go to. Um, but I do know that you can quite easily run the rest of this race on, on the inter. So I'm just going to let this car go through because... I don't really want to collect those two. Remember, we're looking for a clean race. I've already had one bump. I certainly don't want another bump. Uh, I'm annoyed that I had the first one. And I know that I'm going to be able to slingshot past these cars, especially as the track is a little bit greasy here. In fact, I've got the intermediates on. And we're still sitting on a power level three. I just stay at power level three right the way through this race. Breaking a little bit earlier now because of the rain. Oh, just even went in a bit deep up there. And we'll just keep on going. It's a shame it's not raining a little bit heavier and uh, we have a few of these cars that are slipping and sliding, sliding off because that would have got us through them a little bit more. But again, I'm really not bothered the fact that we are in position 15. We've still got 17 minutes of this race left. And if the rain can stay like this, they are going to slow up. We're going to be able to push through it. And we will be making up time all the time. So braking a little bit earlier. Just turning a little bit more gently. Just taking it easy. You can see how much time I've just taken out of those cars in front. And I was being really cautious into that corner. Very, very cautious. So this is the benefit of having that weather radar on in this particular race being able to gauge the weather and making sure that you're on the right tyres. These guys are almost definitely on slicks and you can just very quickly just weave your way through them. There's a fair bit of spray coming up off the tyres ahead and this rain is certainly not going away at the moment. Uh, I've got one little concern and that is that on the weather radar now there is an awful lot of green that is heading our way. And that could have indicated uh, wet tyres would have been useful. But taking this strategy, I normally finish around about a minute ahead of everybody else. So I do have the ability to come in again and put wet tyres on if needed. Again, remember these guys are probably on slicks, so they're sliding around a little bit. So just give them space. There we go, that Porsche is slowing down all the time. Just give them some space so that you don't run into the back of them. And there you go, they're all peeling in now for those tyres. And we're already on the right tyres, so we're just going to push through. So we're up to 11th already. Looks like everybody's pitting. Oh, that was a bit 
Yeah, a whole lot. So it looks like we're going to go from quite low down the field to first position. There you go. Strategy has worked. Just by watching that weather radar uh, and just being on the better tyre at, at the right time, we just managed to make so much time. Now you'll notice that the weather radar what, a bit deep, is going black. That means that this race is going to dry quite quickly. Um, so we could come in for slicks if we wanted to. Uh, but as I said, these intermediates will quite easily take us through to the end of the race. And once this track starts drying out, um, they're, they're quite okay to, to run with them sliding around quite a bit through here so all I'm doing is short shifting or I would be if I was on manual gears um, and just keeping the speed off a little bit one of the things to keep in mind on this particular race if the rain is coming down quite heavy I tend to keep the speed down certainly not getting up into sixth gear not pushing it because this car will spin it will go around, it will be a massive handful. And we can just drive a little bit slower and still manage to do this race. You can see I'm already 20 seconds up on the second place person and, and still making time all the time, even though I'm taking it easy and even though this car is starting around. So if you run this race this way, watching the weather radar, picking the right tires, keeping the fuel set to uh, fuel level three uh, you should be in pretty good shape uh, if i was to spin it now then i've got no worries about the covering uh, it's all very very easy just braking a little bit earlier squaring under braking get this turned in just try and keep it nice we don't really want to throw it badly off the track you can see there just trying to put the power down with his intermediates is uh, a little bit tricky so just introduce power slowly uh, certainly i don't think you need wet tires it's certainly not wet enough the wets um, and if you noticed as the weather went through we were pretty much the sort of gray turquoisey color and blue there wasn't any of the real green and yellow a little bit of green um, but certainly that was intermediate level Remember, if you're getting green and yellow or even up in the pink and purple, that's when you want to be putting the full wets on. So we're still making time, 34 seconds ahead of the second place person. Uh, the fastest lap is not mine, it's by Portilla. Uh, really not fussed about fastest lap because you get no credits for getting a fastest lap. So it's inconsequential in here. This is all about driving much more conservatively, much more slowly, cleanly and safely rather than going for fastest laps and trying to throw it up the inside of people and, and the like. Um, just keep it easy, stress free and keep it nice. Ooh, a little bit deep into that, get it turned in. We've got the sunshine out now with purely black on the weather radar. So we could, if we wanted to, come in and put slick tyres on. If I was going for fastest lap and you know maybe you wanted to try and lap people or whatever then that's something that I could do but for grinding I really don't need to and these intermediates are perfectly all right just adjust your driving style take it a little bit more easy and we're really really good on this particular track uh, you can come through there pretty quickly as normal but you do want to be careful of one of the corners that's coming up you want to get this, uh, just hug this line through here and not let it drift over onto that bit there with those lines. If you do, you will pick up a one and a half second penalty. I don't think it affects the clean race status, um, but you know, try and stay off it if, uh, if you can. As you can see now that you know, just now I'm out in front with 55 second lead. Um, I'm really just taking it very, very easy. We've got some more weather coming in. So we're going to stay on the intermediate tyres. There's no point in coming in and putting the slicks on. I mean, it's, 
this track is still a little bit damp as you can see so I'm just taking it a little bit careful through here and the rain is going to top it up or oh, a little bit of a slide through there uh, but yeah this little bank of clouds and rain here could just uh, put a little bit more moisture down uh, so that, that's why I keep the weather radar on all the time during this race I haven't got any cars around me I mean complete uh, complete space all of my own so uh, I don't need to be worrying about where other cars are. I'm a little bit wide there. Hopefully we'll get away with that one. And um, we've still got 10 minutes to go and we're already, I ah, didn't get away with it. Okay, so this is gonna be uh, an example of how far we can push the limits but still get a clean race. Uh, normally I'm not getting these penalties. Uh, a lot of this is because I am talking and narrating this video whilst I'm running so my concentration is, is not quite where it should be and I break early a little bit of a twitch under there tells me that this is still just a, a little bit greasy underfoot and I have also remembered got the intermediate tyres on still um, but we are actually setting um, blues at the moment so we are actually getting quicker even on the intermediates um, obviously our fuel is coming down and we've got just under 10 minutes to run with one minute 11 seconds ahead of the second place so plenty of time to cater for another pit stop if we need to uh, if we're silly and we have a spin we can recover from that but again there's absolutely no reason why we should spin whilst we're grinding out this particular race because there's, there's nobody near us we can break earlier we can turn in more smoothly we don't even really need to worry about apexes and the like uh, just keep it easy and when I often break there I started to break way back way back uh, because there's absolutely no point in hammering it I'm still what one minute 12 seconds ahead uh, I don't know whether I lost any time but we're now 113 so I'm actually making up time as I'm coming down this particular straight remember we still got the uh, power on level 3 uh, I don't know what the other cars are running at this stage whether they have reduced their power ratings or whether they're still on uh, full power but I really don't care about that at the moment. Again, I could go through there much, much quicker, but very conservative, light on the brakes, just turning, keeping it nice and smooth. One minute 12, so we lost a little bit, who cares? Oh, a bit deep in there. <laughs> Watching other things, we're gonna save our penalty. That's done, and then we'll just carry on our merry way. Now looking at the radar, we are black at the moment, it's still a bit grey in the sky. Uh, so again, I could come in and put soft tyres on if I really wanted to belt around the track and you know, set fastest laps and things. I'm not interested in that. So I'm quite happy with these intermediates. Uh, they're still quite grippy, I'm still setting fastest t uh, sector times. Uh, even though I'm, I'm driving really cautiously um, this is very very slow whoa a little bit wide there so backed off that's the one where you will get a penalty if you run over so still sitting at 1 minute 12 looks like that uh, little bank of rain is going to miss us so this track is going to dry out further and you can see very very little tyre wear on these intermediates basically because I'm braking gently I'm turning in not sliding the car around at all because there's absolutely no need uh, in fact I'm not even searching for wet parts of the track I'm just driving normally at the moment all a bit boring at this stage uh, nobody to overtake just not even trying for fastest laps or 
qualifying pace or anything like that just keeping it on the track keeping it nice and easy uh, all very boring really but this is grinding it's, it's not about yeah, tight hard racing with other cars and bumper to bumper door to door this is about finding yourself some space and just grinding out the time in this instance I mean if you were to choose one of the other circuit experiences or uh, one of the other the challenges then then it's all about uh, not the circuit experiences but the the, the um, the race that I've selected for this one. If you choose one of the others, uh, then uh, it, it's all just about getting some space and just working through it. Lost my train of thought there. Okay, we can see that some of these cars are now pitting. We're taking the intermediates off. They're going to be going probably soft, so I would guess. Really not fast. Really not fast. Um, I'm not really interested on, on what they're they're fitting. I'm going to be sticking with the intermediates right the way through to the end as you can see this is a completely dry track now um, but I'd rather keep that minute lead and uh, just bring it home in first place and get that full amount of 850,000 credits I'll remind you that I've had a couple of penalties I've had one or two bumps so in this particular instance I could be coming in at 550 um, if I have those little issues earlier on in the race then I will very often just come out of it and retry uh, just because you don't want to be spending half an hour running and finding that that has then cost you 300,000 credits uh, as I said I'm continuing with this one purely to see what we can get away with. Uh, hopefully we'll get the full amount, who knows. So we're 1 minute 14 seconds ahead of the second place person. So although, I don't know what tyres are on, this is again my pet hate. I'd love to be able to see what tyres the second, third and fourth drivers are on. Um, I haven't got a clue. Uh, it would be nice to know. I'm going to assume that they, they pitted, I didn't notice, uh, and that they are on slick tyres now. Uh, it, but we are keeping them honest, I mean, 114. I got that up to 115. It could be that they're still on slicks, I'm not sure. Uh, but to the second place person, even driving cautiously in the way that I am, we're still pulling away. And as I said before, you know, this is really what grinding is all about. It is just finding a track that you know, that pays well, that's an easy race. Making the assists and everything as easy for you. I mean, I actually got the, the racing line on here. I don't even know why I've got the racing line on. Um, that's interesting. Normally, I don't need to refuel. Normally, I go to the end. So, oh, going to get penalty there. Uh, normally go to the end. I'm not quite sure why that's happened. Um, maybe I should have gone power level four, not power level three. Uh, so anyway, we'll come in. We're looking at the weather. The weather's absolutely clear, and we've basically got one lap to go. Sometimes when we get to this point, let's just go to mediums. And I'm just going to fill it right up, just because. Uh, sometimes with this race, if you are one, one minute 16 seconds ahead and there's only a minute to run on the clock, then I'll just back right off or even pretty much park it on the track and then just nip over the line just to save yourself three or four minutes of running on that second lap. Uh, in this instance, I had a little bit too much time. Uh, the guy behind is a little bit too far away. See, you'll see here now, look, we've put intermediate tyres on. Did you notice that? Interestingly, they're intermediates on the floor, but I'm pretty sure that it was intermediates that were put on, so the graphics are all messed up a little bit. Uh, but when we come out, you can see that I've got the racing mediums on, so we're happy. 
Uh, I got a penalty. I think that was for going a little bit wide. Uh, so now what we could do, if we really wanted to, uh, we could try and put in a faster slap. But remember, we're trying to keep this clean. So there is no benefit to setting a fastest lap. No benefit whatsoever. So we really might as well just continue to run. Okay, it looks like uh, the cars behind were on, on slick tyres, even though I was on the intermediates. Uh, assuming that they haven't just changed them, that's what they came in on. Um, but we have forced everybody into doing an extra lap. So, like I said, if you use power level three or four normally, you can get right the way through to the end. I think maybe I should have had power level four. It's been a while since I've done any grinding. Um, so set yourself to power level four, and that will get you through to the end almost definitely. And uh, as you can see, if you are forcing people to run an additional lap, then they're going to have to come in and, and fuel because they're going to be running out of fuel. Those that were really far behind, so fifth place and down, well, they're actually finishing the race already because, as you notice, the time has actually run out. So all we've got to do is finish this lap and we're done. So I'm actually out in the front. I'm just going to run this to the end and then I'll pick up with you as we get towards the very end of the lap. Okay, so we're coming up towards the end of the lap now. Pretty much everybody else has finished, uh, but I am ahead of them, so I'm not worrying about that. I uh, got my little penalty to pay. And yeah, it's all about just, as I've said all the way through this, and sorry, it's been a little bit repetitive because the key thing here is not to race hard, particularly in the early part of the race. Just pick your overtaking moments, take it easy. Let the cars run through the corner and then overtake them when you know that you can do it very easily without pumping them and, uh, you know, without going off the track or anything like that. It's all about keeping it smooth, keeping it easy. And you can see that I'm still one minute, 19 seconds ahead. Oh, I've gone wide again. One minute, say, no, one minute 19 seconds ahead. Uh, country mile, I've got enough time to do another lap. Oh, I've got another penalty. I really can't drive and talk at the same time. Um, let's just turn it in here, over this curb, get it turned in for the tighter chicane, and then we'll just run it to the line. And then let's just see whether we've got a clean race or whether we did actually cause ourselves a problem. And so we've got first, that's a done deal. So, so, so far ahead. Um, actually a lap ahead of everybody else and we've actually got a clean race there you'll see we got 825,000 credits first place so even with those few Mr. Ne Mr. Nemas, um, Mr. Minas, whatever the word is I'm looking for we did still get the clean race which is good 825,000 credits in the bag half an hour run nice and easy it's a no-brainer 
I think this is probably the best circuit for doing grinding on. Uh, as I said many, many times, just keep it easy during this first part where you're working through the traffic. Get the uh, fuel power level on four. I think three was a little bit too too much. Uh, that will then mean you've only got to do the uh, what the single pit stop. Put the rain radar on, the weather radar, so that you can see when that rain is coming. Make a judgment call as to whether you go intermediate or weather tyres and then just stay out of trouble and enjoy it and just earn those credits. So that's how I grind. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see more videos of this type and also videos of my daily races, then please consider um, subscribing. And I look forward to seeing you on another video. In the meantime, stay well, take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.